Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. And I am here today with a fun Cricut tutorial. So if you guys have never cut leather with your Cricut, you should and you should do it immediately because it is beautiful. But today what I'm going to be showing you is not only how to cut your leather with a deep point blade, but how to foil it with the new foil transfer tip. So what I made are these really cute little stocking tags for my stockings. I wanted something that could be loopy and script, but not flutter in the breeze like cardstock. So leather was the perfect solution. It hangs beautifully. It's rose gold. I can foil it with rose gold. There are other color options, but I'm not sure why you would pick them. Obviously, I'm a fan of rose gold. So let's see. Let's give you a little close up, guys. The way that these look, they just literally loop over the ends here. And I am obsessed. And then look at that foil. It's a subtle detail, but especially at night, that foiling is magical at night. During the day, y'all, it blends a little into the rose gold, but that's okay. Because at night, with the light of the tree, and the lights are off, when you're watching TV, it is magical. So let's go ahead and jump in. Now, if you've tried to foil metallic leather, you've noticed that it's not compatible. And we don't know why, because a lot of the other leathers are. But there's a quick and easy trick. I will show you how to do it. You can foil and cut metallic leather, and we're gonna do it today. Let's get started. All right, y'all, so we are actually going to start in Cricut Design Space. Make sure your top layer is actually set to foil. You'll find that up under line type, foil, and then I picked the bold tip. And then your bottom layer, you'll wanna make sure is set to cut. Then you can hit make it, and it's going to bring you to your cutting mats. You have two separate cutting mats. Click those dots and move object, and we're gonna select the second mat. This is gonna put both pieces on the same mat so you can make sure they're perfectly lined up. You're just gonna drag them until they are one on top of the other. Perfect. And now when we click the three dots and we go back to the first mat, move object, back to the first mat, it's going to cut both pieces in the exact same spots on both mats. You just wanna make sure that the foil piece is first. So foil and then cut. So now we're gonna select our materials since you can't foil metallic leather, we're going to select medium cardstock. Pressure is default. Make sure your foil is taped down all the way around the edges. See, if you don't, then that foil tip can get really aggressive and kind of pull it off too far. So tape it down really good. This is sped way up, but you can see how that foil tip is just going over the letters. It looks so pretty, you guys. I am upset. Take that foil off. We're going to set this from medium card stock now to metallic leather so it is the right pressure for our leather, which we're going to cut with the deep point blade. Metallic leather, I'm going to set the pressure to more. That seems to work better for my Cricut. Make sure the deep point blade is in and click go. So now it should be calibrated. It's going to cut around our foiling on those two mats. In the exact same spot now this doesn't always work if you go and foil one day and cut 12 days later but nobody does that so you do it all in one project foil and then cut make sure your mats are lined up and it looks perfect I hope you guys liked this little tip I didn't even know you could do this until this project and now I'm trying to remember all the times I tried to visual line something up and I didn't even know this was a thing. I don't know why Cricut made it a feature and didn't even tell us, or maybe they told y'all and didn't tell me, but either way, it makes life so much easier.
Okay, so once it is all finished, we are going to take it off the mat. So as you can see, I forgot to record taking the rose gold ones off the mat. So this is super secret future Betsy taking my mom's red stocking tags off the mat. You're just gonna start at the top and carefully, carefully, carefully peel back that leather as long as the deep um, blade there sliced all the way through, which you can see it did. It comes off pretty easily, but you don't want to rip anything. And since this font is very swirly and scripty and has lots of little pieces, it's really easy to accidentally tear something. So just carefully keep peeling around all the letters. You'll see all the loops coming out. And it's, it's a pretty simple process. Pretty easy weed for sure. <laughs> Once I've done all the letters, I just flipped my mat over and I peeled the mat away from the leather. That way my leather is still flat and I can use the leather that's left over for a different project. So now we're going to take, I wouldn't curl them and that way they wouldn't tear. Cricut actually makes a little spatula that comes in their weeding set, I believe. I have one and it is amazing. It takes these things off very quickly very easily but since I just moved mine is still packed um, if yours is not packed I would recommend using it but if you don't have one or you don't know where it is you can take it off with your fingers you can see how sturdy they are there's my brother's name we're gonna do my name and my mom's name and then we will be done I will show you exactly how these look close up with the foiling and I cannot wait. If you guys make these, please let me know. If you make other leather things that are foiled, well, let me know that as well because I want to see all of them. What did I tell you? Quick and easy, right? So what are you going to make? I feel like I can use this trick to foil and cut leather for all kinds of products, not just stocking tags, but I'm definitely going to be making more stocking tags because my mom wants some red ones with gold foiling. I just, I love how they turn out. I love, love, love it. And I love that they like, they're sturdy. Like leather is sturdy. These aren't gonna get broke unless you like try to cut them. Now sure, if you give one end to a big really guy and the other end to another really big really guy and tell him to pull, like yeah, it's gonna break. But as far as everyday use goes, sturdy as a rock. I will see you guys in my next project. I hope you liked this one. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all the things, pop over to the blog. I will leave a full supply list down below. So if you want to make these, you can. If you do, please leave me a picture comment because I want to see. See you next time. Bye, y'all.